Hey guys, just doing a real fast one here. This is a uh, 2004 Ford Expedition. It's at my buddy Latour's Auto. It's at his garage and uh, what we're doing is an emission inspection and check engine light is on and we have some fault codes, lean exhaust codes, go figure, 5.4 engine. No shock there. Let me get you a shot of the scan tool. I'm just using uh, Pete's little handheld one. We're gonna do this really fast, I hope. And I'm not really familiar with this tool, so bear with me. See, we have a 171 code and a 174 code. And then we also have our freeze frame data, which is pretty cool. You see freeze frame is, um, RPM is 724. My long terms are at 25% and the short terms are 10 and six. And what this screams right off the bat is a vacuum leak. Let's look at our live data. And I, what I picked is my short term and long term trims and engine RPM. And hit done. It's actually gotten a little bit better as it's been running. But you can see that my trim numbers are 14 and 12%. Uh, when I had this before I turned the camera on, they were at 25%. And then what we want to do now is we want to raise the RPM. Uh, hey, Pete. Yeah. Are, are you able to uh, open the throttle out there or is this a drive-by wire? Right here, yeah. Can you do it? Can you raise it up to like three grand for me? I have Pete's go going to... Uh, as you can see, the trim numbers improved. They're actually perfect. Okay, let it idle. Let it. Going back down to idle, you see our trim numbers have uh, gotten positive again. And so what this is suggesting for sure is we have a vacuum leak. And again, this got better as the engine warmed up. So it's suggesting uh, potentially an intake gasket. Let's go under the hood, see if we can find it. These, uh, these trim numbers got better, Pete, as it warmed up, so I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be the intake gasket. Um, we're just doing a quick water test, and I'm just going to be listening for this to get sucked in. I just made it miss. The engine just got real lopy. On this it's on the far corner on this side. It's on this corner too. Your intake gasket's leaking, Pete. Not sure that I'm going to be able to show you guys this. I'll try. I'll post another link in another for another video I did on this where I can really pinpoint, I pinpointed the area a lot better. More of a sound test guys, you can hear the water getting sucked into the intake. That's pretty much it. If you, you get a vehicle like this, guys, and you can uh, identify that you have a vacuum leak based on your fuel trim numbers, and you put water on the intake and you make, make the engine run real rough, and I was spraying it right around the intake gasket areas, and I could hear it getting sucked in. Uh, not sure that the camera picked that up, but you're pretty much done. You sell an intake gasket job, an upper and lower intake on this one. In fact, I'm not sure that the design exactly, but it's the lower gasket that's leaking. Uh, what I could do just for you guys is I can put my smoke machine on it and show you the smoke just to make sure that we're comfortable with what I'm calling. But all you need seriously is a basic scan tool and a little bottle of water and you can troubleshoot these. Well, there it is right there. Uh, you'll see occasionally right below my light, some smoke coming up out of there. That is the lower intake. Um, we were just talking off camera how much the water bottle was actually a better tool for this job. Uh, the only reason I'm showing it to you with a smoke machine is just to prove it to you guys on camera that that's where our leaks were. We have the same thing on the other side. Um, 
one of the things you have to be careful of with these designs, if it's the style with the rubber O-rings that they use around the intake gasket, and I think it is, that when the engine heats up, it seals them up better. So that does explain why our fuel trim freeze frame was showing positive 25%, but then as it warmed up, and actually I think Tim, when you and I looked at it first live, it was 25%. 25%. You went away for a minute. When, by the time you came back, it was down to 14%, confirming it was an intake gasket. As the intake and engine warms up, it pinches together and seals that leak. Um, that's what we're dealing with. And then the other variable is, you know, I'm putting the intake under pressure as opposed to vacuum, and that can change the characteristic of the gasket too. And it was actually worse with the engine running and using water than it is here with the smoke machine. Uh, but good test still. Remember, all you really need is a water bottle and, and uh, know how to read your fuel trim data. And if you have fuel trim that's very, very positive at idle, and uh, improves at higher RPM, then you need to be looking for a vacuum leak. So that's it. Um, I'll put some links again in this video for, there's a bunch of smoke rolling across the screen now. That's just because my, that's all right, Tim. I'm just gonna show it. It kind of popped out there a little bit. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the description of this video for some other smoke tests that I've done, other lean condition, other vacuum leaks. Make sure you guys are, following or reading the descriptions of these videos because that's where I'm putting these links. Uh, thanks a lot. I'll catch you guys next time.